What's up, everybody? This is Ecto Tech Preacher. So you can make your Galaxy S25 Ultra boss status by having a video wallpaper on it. Now, right here on my desk, I have the Galaxy S25 Ultra running a video wallpaper. And I got some other devices here. Uh, I got the LG Velvet, I got the LG V60, and I have the OnePlus 12. Now all these devices is running video wallpapers, but if you got your brand new Galaxy S25 Ultra, you got that beautiful AMOLED display and you wanna have a beautiful video wallpaper. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put a video wallpaper on your Galaxy S25 Ultra or any smartphone. You could do this with any smartphone, but let's have some fun. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So if you got a Galaxy S25 Ultra or any smartphone, you could do this method. I'm gonna show you two ways on how to make a video wallpaper, which is really nice. Uh, but before I start, let me go on and get two questions out of the way because I know there's gonna be a questions here in this video. One question you may ask is how's the battery life when using video wallpapers? Well, the answer to that question is, of course it's gonna hit battery life a little bit. Uh, using video wallpapers, you, it does impact battery life a little bit. Just so you know. The second question you may ask is, does the phones get hot by using video wallpapers? The answer to that question is no. I've been using video wallpapers on my devices for years and don't have any thermal issues. Uh, so uh, battery life, it may impact it a percentage or two. Uh, heating, no thermal issues. All right. So there's two ways on you could do two ways you could do this, right? Uh, well, first you have to download an application that's called uh, video wallpaper. Okay. You want to go to your app store and you want to download video wallpaper, uh, video live wallpaper. I will leave that link down in the description below. Uh, just so you know, if you want to download it, this is the application that I use on all my devices. All right. So there's two ways you can make a video wallpaper. You can download a video wallpaper from the internet and put it on your device and use it as a video wallpaper, or you could use your video gallery of videos you already uh, made on your device. Give you a prime example. This is a video uh, that I shot on this device and I use that as a video wallpaper. So you can use videos you already have and make them out of uh, video wallpapers. One plus 12, really good phone. All right, so in order to do that, you open up the application and it's a really simple UI here. It's really straightforward here. Uh, you got change video. Well, I got a video on there right now, but if, if you didn't have a video, they would say add a video. Uh, then you got your start and end, which you can, how long you want the video to play. Uh, then you disable the audio. Now by default, the audio will come disabled. Now you can scale to fit. Not all videos will scale properly on these narrow displays. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So if you have, if you wanted to uh, have a video from your gallery, you just click on change video or uh, install, ins, ins, install video and you scroll down your list of videos and this you just add it. And when you add it and that's pretty much it, you just do the, uh, the start time and end time and that's it. Okay. So that's really simple, straightforward, no issues with that. But if you wanted to download a video and put it on your device, that's get a little complicated, but I'm gonna make it as easy as I can make it. All right, let's go to it. So there's an application that you that I've used for years and it works great. Now, this is a free application uh, that you can use. Uh, now, this application I use is a YTD video downloader. I will leave that link down in the description below. And the reason why I'm saying that is because they got a lot of downloaded videos, uh, software that you can use to download stuff from the internet. But this is the 
uh, the software that I use. Uh, and you can use this on Mac or PC. Uh, but uh, yeah, when you click on it, now I'm using the free version. Now, uh, it's a paid version and the free version. Let me tell you the difference between a paid version and the free version. The free version is slower downloads and you can only download one video at a time. So it's going to be a slower download and uh, it's going to be one video at a time. Now the paid version, I think it's 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Uh, but the paid version, uh, you can get multiple downloads and it's going to be faster downloads. But I, I've always used the free downloader. Okay. So where do you get the videos from? Well, let's go to YouTube. On YouTube, I was uh, doing, I was searching for Superman cartoons. So I got the Justin League here, right? And what you do is when you find a video that you like, so let's say, for instance, if I was searching for a video and I found a video I like, I just click on the video and right here at the top, I just right click and I copy it, right? Okay, when you copy it, then I want to go back to my computer. And right here, I um, I paste it, okay? Once I paste it, then I click on download. Now, this is the free version, and it's gonna try to solicit you to subscribe to get the ultimate plan, but I just hit continue here, and now it's gonna be in the queue to download it. Now, I already have a few of them downloaded here, so uh, I wanna go through the ones that I downloaded. Okay. Uh, while that's download, the next thing you need to do, you need to plug your Galaxy S25 or any smartphone to your PC uh, using USB Type-C or USB Type-A to USB Type-C. Whatever plug you have to connect your phone to your computer, you need to do that. So uh, at this point, I just connect it. Uh, once I connect it, you may get a pop-up and you have to allow it. But I've done this so many times, my device don't even ask me. Uh, do I want to allow it? So there it is. I got it plugged up to my uh, my PC. So when I go back to my PC, right, and that's on the cube, and I've already got this downloaded already. So this say if it's already been downloaded, I got it on right here. Okay, these are the videos that I have. Let's say I want to put He-Man on my Galaxy S25 Ultra. What I do is I right click on the video and I hit copy and I go right down here uh, to my file system and I find my device which is the Galaxy S25 Ultra and I want to go to the internal storage double click on it and I want to go to what's called DCIM double click on it and go to your camera okay and it's going to pull up all your camera videos and all your stills in your uh, cam on your device you want to right click and you want to paste that's going to uh, bring the video into your Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now it says I already have it, okay? But it's going to automatically download. So I'm going to go down and hit cancel here because it's already downloaded on my device. Now I'm done here. I got the video on my device. The next thing I want to do is I want to go to the configuration. I can unplug this. Uh, I want to go to my configuration of the video wallpaper. And I want to go to change video. And usually when you download anything to your device, it's going to be the last videos. So I'm going to go all the way scrolling all the way down. And uh, there go to He-Man that I downloaded from the internet. And I'm going to do He-Man, even though I got He-Man on this one. So I'm going to click on it. Now, it's, you go hit the volume. I'm going to turn the volume down. But see how I get the intro. What I want to do is I want to edit this. I want to go on and take this a scroll until I get to the part where I want to. Right there, go back a little bit because I want the introduction to He-Man. There it is. All right, so I got the introduction to He-Man and I don't want it that long. So I'm gonna go all the way back here and uh, it's about right there, maybe about 30, 30 seconds or so. And right here, I want to click and then go to actually select video wallpaper. Now, I've done this so many times. When you do it the first time, it will ask you, do you want it on your lock screen or do you want it on your home screen? But I it, it haven't prompted me for that uh, since I've been doing it for so many, so many times. But it, it is on my lock screen. Okay, so now I got He-Man on my lock screen. And when I go to put my code, my, my thumbprint in, now here it is. 
video wallpaper on my Galaxy S25 Ultra. And look at that. That is dope. Beautiful. All right. So I got about 45 seconds or so. And it's going to start from the beginning again. There it is. Video wallpaper on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. Really, really dope here. Now, all videos aspect ratio may be different because this is a Star Trek video. And as you could tell, the aspect ratio is a little weird here. So not all videos would take advantage of the full display, just so you know. So uh, if you're going to download this, just make sure that uh, it, it will cover your entire screen uh, because this video right here does not uh, go all the way up. Uh, the, it does not do full screen, uh, but this video does. That's what I'm talking about. This is Ector Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy S25 Ultra and live video wallpapers in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Look at that lock screen. Look at that lock screen. <laughs> Peace.